look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's SpaceX. I yeah. Congratulations, SpaceX. <laughs> but uh, what's the deal with Superman? So of course, Snyder Cut release was a big deal, and then it looked very likely. And rumors were there uh, whether there were negotiations with Henry Cavill to return to Superman. And a lot of the signs pointed to it's already a done deal. Um, Deadline came out and said pretty much that and that he would appear in other movies that are upcoming. Aquaman 2, which I had never heard until this came out. Of course, the Shazam movies with Black Adam and Shazam 2, uh, that I was more akin to believe because I know that Dwayne Johnson has been teasing Superman for quite a bit. And uh, did his desire for Cavill to be Superman, and uh, that's that goes a long way to really uh, solidifying this. That yes, that Cavill would return as Superman. Uh, but then the Hollywood Reporter says there hasn't been any negotiations, or it's all very complicated, and there's nothing set and you know done or what have you. Um, so uh, it be- becomes a bit of a stumbling block here. The other. Uh, detail is that for quite a while with J.J. Uh, Abrams uh, coming in uh, to the fold here because uh, Warner Media uh, purchased his or uh, 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 did they absolutely purchase Bad Robot or did they just enter into a contract with him? But whatever the deal is, is an exclusive deal with them. And so there's these television series that he's developing for them and one of them being Justice League Dark. So that's what's official. But the rumor was is that he was interested in a Green Lantern movie and a Superman movie. And right at the outset was that he wanted to recast Superman with a younger actor. And uh, this seemed to fall into line with what they're doing with Batman and Robert Pattinson. So that this is a move away from uh, DCEU versions of the character. Then the theory was that uh, Flashpoint could... Uh, you know, introduce, a, you know, these characters into the DCEU and make a new version of it where Robert Pattinson is the Batman of that world. And if J.J. Abrams introduces a new Superman, then this actor would be a part of that. One of the uh, candidates for this was uh, an actor named David Cornsweet, who bears a striking resemblance <laughs> to Henry Cavill. So, uh, and he's somewhat younger than Cavill so that seemed to fall in line and it seemed like maybe that was the possibility but in recent events with the Snyder Cut and everything it seemed like well maybe that wasn't going to happen after all and the idea of two different versions of Superman going at the same time uh, would you know you you can understand the troubles there uh, branding wise for uh, what uh, Warner wants to do with these characters of course, DC Comics, you can embrace the multiverse. And as a DC fan, I would perfectly understand that. Uh, in a way, you kind of already had this with the Joker film, which is obviously its own standalone deal. If the Batman film was just a standalone, uh, but I think there's already been hints that they, they were trying to make a trilogy out of it. Um, but if it had just been this standalone thing, then it wouldn't really matter if they continue with the DCU version of Batman, whether that's Ben Affleck or not, uh, it doesn't matter. It's still this other Batman and another version of him. And then you would have this other Superman, you know, that only does standalone films. And, uh, that was it. Uh, as for Henry Cavill, one of the other theories was that the Snyder cut, series as it apparently will be uh for hbo max could set up uh the groundwork for a man of steel 2 that you know you you come out of that uh, out of the justice league and then you can produce this man of steel story and then you come back for the justice league 2 and that sort of thing and uh, that that uh, furthers uh cavill's version of superman uh and that's all well and good, and that could be a theory about how you get to Man of Steel 2 out of that. And this uh, Snyder Cut is, for the most part, you know, the footage is there. <laughs> so uh, by next year, there it'll be. So whatever extra elements they want to film is not that big of a deal as far as producing a whole new film. So you really got Henry Cavill back in the game because of that footage. 
and his role in that uh, Justice League film. And it's kind of like he's back already, you know, and then you're producing this other film so then you can write in the cameos and whatnot, keeping the Cavill brand of Superman alive while you develop the new Superman film. And then, you know, 23, 24, you've got a Superman film. And uh, but meanwhile, he's been around already. So that's I, I would guess is the thinking in that as far as another Superman that might be dropped at this point so uh whether corn sweat ever had a shot at being superman that might be over with now so then the idea comes that jj abrams would just accept cavill as the superman that warner wants and he directs it now his track record of late has not been very good with the properties he and his company have been involved with uh from star trek to star wars it's really it just it it seems to start off really great and then just crashes and burns uh now with star wars a lot of that uh he doesn't deserve the entirety uh, of the blame there uh, he certainly plays a role in it but there's far more uh people who are, who are deserving of more blame uh in what happened there than uh jj abrams but it's like J.J. Abrams and his crew of people like Lindelof and Alex Kurtzman. Good Lord. What Alex Kurtzman's done to Star Trek on television is just god-awful. <laughs> and Lindelof, who I know has talent, has that his Watchmen was just absolutely lazy and just a bit of a slap job. There were some elements there that showed sign of promise. But for the, it's it's clear to me he didn't really care about this and uh, that kind of thing. And that's the attitude where you slap it on and then you say it's some sort of social justice message and that makes it okay no matter how bad of a job you do. That you see spread out all over Hollywood to cover up laziness and uh, in ideas. You know, not pr the production of a lot of this stuff is really good, but uh, you know, scripts and whatnot, I, they're terrible, and so. Yeah, I think J.J. Abrams could direct a, f a fine Superman film if he's just left to direct it. Uh, but scripts and uh, the stories and stuff, it's going to need to farm that out to someone outside of Bad Robot. <laughs> and then this might work. But in keeping with uh, the vision and the version and the status and the idea that Superman is progressing to Superman, that's the point of Man of Steel. And um, and with Batman versus Superman, it, it kept him in that era when it really should have pushed him further into the the, the Superman that uh, you, you everybody knows and loves. <laughs> and uh, Cavill can certainly do that role, uh, but um, it, and with his popularity and what I'm pretty sure AT and T is on his side, which pretty much means it's a done deal. So whatever negotiations with Abrams, if he wanted another Superman, I I think he's just going to have to accept Cavill as Superman, uh, and going to have to work within the framework of what Snyder Cut delivers. Now, if Snyder Cut is a complete flop and failure on HBO Max, then yeah, it, that's all gone. Um, and uh, then uh, yeah, maybe Corn Sweat could come back in as Superman. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, uh, th this is I think seeing the groundwork for a roadmap of what they want to do with this because there's so much already done and to change course, uh, and they're kind of lost in, in, in limbo there and not quite knowing where to go with it, um, or just stick with the standalones, I guess. But. Uh, I I, I want to see a, a shared DC universe on screen because I've seen standalone DC superhero films and I, well, I'm I'm tired of those. <laughs> They're good, but you know let's see something else. Anyway, uh, so uh, I I do think Cavill will be back as Superman. Uh, as far as anything being nailed down or whatnot, but a lot of this stuff of leaking to different. Uh, trade sites, whether it's Deadline or uh, Hollywood Reporter, is that there's probably still some haggling and negotiating, negotiating going on, and um, but I, I don't think you can completely shut him down and just walk away from it. You're going to have to come to a deal with him because 
the desire, I think, it, it, to, to see him back as Superman is rather large. And so I, I don't know what the deal has to be ultimately, but I think the, the framework of using Snyder Cut to get to another Man of Steel, I think, is a good one and uh, could work out, especially since it's already shot for the most part, you know, and uh, you can get this running because it's really uh, embarrassing that you haven't had a Superman project all this time, you know, and uh, you know what the hell? And <laughs> I and I I don't know. I mean, Grace Randolph says uh, Henry Cavill's difficult to, to deal with, and maybe that was part of the problem and uh, the money and whatnot. And they were playing hardball and that. But, but good lord, it's it, this is going on way too long. So. Anyway, I, I still think he, for all intents and purposes, he's back as Superman. And uh, J.J. is just going to have to deal with that. Or move on. Do your Justice League Dark. Maybe tackle Green Lantern. I don't know. But uh, leave Superman to uh, someone else. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Zack Snyder. <laughs> Actually, I think Abrams and Snyder are, are buddies and stuff. So, But whatever. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I still think Henry Cavill is back as Superman. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. Slay. Why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson Channel on BitChute.com.